Good morning students, myself Dr. Badi Alekya, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, RMD Engineering College. Today we are going to discuss RNN algorithm, Recurrent Neural Network algorithm. So what is recurrent neural network means it's one type of neural networks where the input output of output from the previous steps is fed as the input to the current steps nothing but uh, the output generated in the previous steps will be given as input to the next step in traditional neural networks all the inputs and outputs are, are of independent each other. For example, if you are considering this remaining networks, convolutional neural networks, the output of one, the output of one thing will not be depend on the will not be given as the input to the next things. But in recurrent neural networks, the output from the previous steps we are going to feed to the current step. So how we are going to performing sequence labeling problem by using recurrent neural network algorithm means first we clearly understand what is the variable number of inputs, variable number of outputs, how we are converting the words into numbers and labels need to be converted into numbers. Just these are the four important metrics when we when we are apply, we have to put it in our mind when we are considering recurrent neural network algorithm. So how, what are the number of outputs they are giving? Outputs, inputs, converting that words into numbers, labels into numbers. If, if you observe here, here we are seeing the first half was bo very boring. The words we are giving, great performance by all the lead actors, the background music or some, something we are mentioned in this particular thing how it is labeled how it this will be considered we will discuss in the next slide if you observed here after pre-processing after applying recurrent neural network uh, three important special symbols we are used under recurrent neural networks algorithm one is start of the sentence end of the sentence in middle we are padding some things to add the extra content in the given sentences so here three things we put it in mind sos eos and pad and we have to find maximum input lengths across all sequences for example if i say 10 means i have to consider from 0 to 9 so this is for if you have this is for words this is for labels here this thing will representing words this will things will representing labels i will explain it clearly how it is going to do perform the things means for example in the things i am going to add sos sos means start of the sentence the first half was very boring here the represent determiner that's why dt first represent adjective aj and half represents now and was represent verb and jj very uh, is also one type of different ab adjective very and very boring means it's also representing a special adjective and dot will represents pc punctuations and we are using because two spaces we are not giving the empty spaces we have to cover all the sequences shorter sequences that's why we are going to fill with end of the string and pad and then coming to the next thing great performance great is an adjective performance is a noun by is a pre proportion all is represents pronoun d represent determine and lead represents special adjective actors represents noun and dot represent pc that is punctuations and one column is empty that's why we are going to fill with end of the sentence like that same thing that represents here you understand that this dt will represent labeling the labeling is post of tagging we are doing determinant ag represent adjective nn represent noun repos pp represent proportions pn pc represents punctuations pn represents pronoun verb 
like that different types of things we are going to consider to represent the sentences this will represent words this will represent labels if the anything is empty means it is going to replace with the three special symbols sos eos and pad after applying the pre processing of pre processing in the algorithm the output will be like this how we are going to next step we are assigning in assigning the words space special symbols sos eos and pad and after assigning these special symbols what is the things means we are going to convert these words into numbers words are labeled the last step first step is we are considering inputs we are considering outputs and as last step is we are going to convert these words and labels into number by applying recurrent neural network algorithm how we are going to convert these words into words are labeled into number let us see sos represents here id1 and the three special symbols we are considering sos eos pad that is represented by id 1 2 3 now in the fourth question we are going to consider the so among how many number of words are present in this given words just count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 among 29 we have four symbols as among 28 we have four symbols of as punctuations that's why we considering the words as 24 letters from 4 to 6 we have four to time we have to consider at the version 4 if it's a word is present one and after it first will occupy the position 5 and half will occupy the position 6 like that which will represents the end that time will represents this 24th position if you count like this you can understand 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 24 how we are converting these labels into numbers means same like that how many labels are there if you observe among this label table we have 10 labels that's why we have to consider 10 sim 10 zeros we are performing one hat encoding here what is one hat encoding means if the thing is present we place that as one if the things is not if that word or label is not present in that particular environment we make it as zero so this technique we are called it as one hat encoding technique if you observe here uh, start of the thing end of the string end of the sorry start of the sentence end of the sentence and for padding 3 and determin determiner is present here that's why one is present and jj is present at fifth position like that we are going to repeat for the pronoun if multiple times jj is come also we are giving we are going to give that particular position only so for the 10 labels we are giving 10 positions this technique we are called it as one hot encoding techniques it will be representing the actual length of the sentence these are the sum of the formulas which will be helpful to convert the words or labels into numbers so how is the loss function we are calculated after estimating this particular thing and loss function with the time series uh, already mentioned that the output of the previous thing will be going to give to the input to the current step so here we are considering pronouns verbs articles adjectives nouns that combination and we are going to give to your word that means labels words combined itself we are going to find out some values and then we can predict what is the loss function with its time steps so how we are computing that values same thing like our gradient descent learning algorithm we are iterated over the data same formulas we are used that uh, what is the 
updated weight with its with the previous weight what is the updated value with the previous bias value that things we are considered at the extinction of the algorithm till the things will be satisfied so uh, the the type of calculating the loss value and back propagated uh, in the recurrent neural networks like in a time series value we call it as back propagation through time bptt technique each step has one input time step one copy of network and one outputs then errors will be calculated and accumulated for each step these things will be carried out row back under recurrent neural networks like our normal feed forward networks to increase the loss function in recurrent neural networks also weights are updated but its weights are updated with the roll back with the network so how it is present in the sequence of time steps i will summarize the algorithm of bptt in back propagation through time first it presenting a sequence of time steps of considering input and output phase and then unroll the network and then accumulate errors to each steps again it will roll back the networks and update the weights this procedure will be repeated up to uh, error value is minimized like our normal feed forward back propagation technique so this the chain rule already we know how we are instead there also we are using some derivative functions like that here also we are having the derivative functions with respect to label and word label we are considering word we are considering and then loss function we are considering to calculate the difference between the actual word generation and the predicted word generation so how it is going to updated through s4 s3 and x1 is represented in this following diagram we should have aware at how it's a we should be strong in that how the values will be converted how special symbols are embedded how the uh, words are converted how the words are represented how the labels are represented how words are converted into numbers how labels are converted into numbers and which way in which way we are calculating the loss functions is very very important when you are understanding the recurrent neural network recurrent neural network and also back propagation within time through time so these are the mathematical representation already discussed in the initial videos how we are applying the chain rules Uh, with respect to x4 if you are calculating we are considering the previous step x3 and that sequence of things we have to consider in the network and coming to the same things we are representing if you having four steps four times we have to consider if you having the three steps three times we have to considering with respect to the chain rule so it is representing how we are going to applying the chain rule you understand what is recurrent neural network if i am considering ds4 with ds1 means which how many which how many steps it has to move back first to s4 and then x3 then x3 to x2 then x2 to x1 again i repeated it for your understanding how we are going to apply the chain rules if you are going to calculate the chain rule of derivative with respect to derivative of x4 with respect to x1 is x4 to x3 the previous step for the x3 the previous step is x2 for the x2 the previous step is x1 in this way the chain rule for recurrent neural network will be applied to exploding or vanish gradient the gradient problem then after apply after calculating how we are going to apply the sigmoid function and what is inside that function we have to calculate so bidirectional recurrent neural networks also we have performed in both the direction of recurrent neural networks one for forward states and another for backward states forward states will represent positive and backward states will represent negative both the neither of these output states are connected to the inputs of the opposite directions so simultaneously input from the past state and the future of the current states frames can be used to calculate the same output which will improve the speed of the network so this is the representation of bidirectional recurrent neural networks the same concepts uh, what we are considering for recurrent neural networks but it's in the both direction forward recurrent neural network and backward recurrent 
neural networks if you observed it you can easily understand how it is performing but bo bo combining the advantages of both the things and calculation on performance of the model little bit faster when compared to the recurrent neural network that's all students for the today's session we will meet with some other new concept in the next session thank you all